Hello again guys, got another video upload. I actually done very well on this uh, Zalo. I was on Riverpoint with uh, one of my uh, view uh, viewers and followers uh, from Twitch and I thought I'd upload this. Played really well on this game. You had the Flying Dutchman from Katz on the other team. He's a battalion leader of um, that clan. He's a very good player as well. And uh, yeah, playing as Arlo, yep. I know what people think of that thing is kind of overpowered, but it's got hardly any hit points, it's got no smoke as well. So you need to take that into account when you're playing this vehicle. As you can see, um, I'm thinking where to go. And um, Profuazo said, uh, let's go over here. So, you know, I don't normally play this position because this is, I, I'm, I'm being a bit more careful when I play these because this map is. In my opinion, that's uh, kind of broke. I might be wrong, but this needs looking into. And so I stopped just to type. Bless him. Um, so, right, what I'm looking for now, when I'm going over here, is traces. That's one thing I'm looking for. And people who are new at the game as well, you just keep your gun in the game and always look at your mini map very important. Now, there we go, got a Dragoon, can I shoot that? Did I get a shot off? Let's see, no but I didn't. I'm not pushing up too far. The Frazzo's in a very good position where he is. Now, we know there's a Dragoon up there, I fire some shots into him now. Like I say, the view range on this is pretty damn good. How I've spec that, so I'll uh, show you that afterwards. How I've spec this up with uh, retrofits. It's got 512 meters of view range, which is pretty damn good. Now I'm looking for traces. Now I see a tracer coming there. Now I know is around where. If you look where, I can't zoom in any further. Near where the other dead Draco is, there's, there's a rock over there, and I'm looking for traces. That's what I'm looking for. I don't want to push too far because he'll is going to spot me in an instant. I'm just creeping up, just having a look. There's some more traces. So I'm, I know there's something over there, and I'm not moving anywhere until I get this thing out of the way. So I'm putting, I'm going to put suppression fire down on that position. I know there's something over there. I know for a fact there is. That's, like as I said, I'm putting suppression fire over there. Always looking at the mini map. Not a lot being uncovered. Uh, got MBTs uh, supporting the rear of us, which is good. I took a hit back and off. I still know there's something over there, so I'm just going to put, as I said, I'm just going to keep reloading every single time I can over that position. I need to get that away whilst over there. Fazo's doing the same thing. He's going to make a mistake. Obviously, I was looking over to my right just in case someone comes across. Well, that was an evil blind shot. That was evil, but yeah. I knew something was over there. That's why I was putting suppression fire out of there because he's trying to poke and. Um, yeah, that was kind of lucky in a sense, but I knew something was over there. I had to get rid of it. So that's my first kill. Between us, we've got two kills. That's not bad. So let's see what more we can do. Now, look at our other flank. I mean, the Dragoon's pushing up a bit, which is good. They're pushing up, which is very good. We need to support these guys. We've got someone else coming over here. We've got Profazzo trying to deal with this uh, T62, which he is. There we go, that Draco's doing a major mistake. One hit in him. 11,000 damage so far. Let's see what else I can do from this position. I haven't really moved much, so you can technically call me a camper, but... I'm just... This Draco's in a bit of a sticky situation. He's stuck behind a rock, no matter which way he goes, he's, he's dead. I think I finish him off in a second because he makes he pulls out behind and I just get the corner of it. It's a shame there's no uh, you can zoom in from actual see 
the gunner sight. There we go. And my next kill should be lined up as T62, which is now gonna go. I think. No. There we go. That's uh, three kills between us. So that's good. I think someone else got that kill though. Or maybe not. So we're not doing too bad. I mean, I've done 1,642 damage. It's pretty even. The scores are pretty damn even. It could go any way. Still looking about what to do. What I mean, I'm thinking, well, I know they're still up there. I need to try and get behind them. I need to deal with these MBTs. Now we've got, got Zalo up there. I think that Zalo hits me. No, I'm sure I get hit from somewhere soon. See what I can do. I, I go around behind this um, this tank here. Use my um, reload time. Get behind him. Now, I I'm just waiting for him to go over, which he did. Uh, Low Glacius. Now there we go. That's my third kill. Unfortunately, Prazo's dead. Now we're in a bit of a situation now where we've got a. I took a massive hit there. Now what I'm doing is I'm using this as a scout now because of my view range. So I'm getting right out of the way of them apart from that. That Zalo's dead. That's my fourth kill. So that's pretty damn good. So it's still, they've they got the odds in their favour. They really have. But I'm just keeping at arm's length to see what I can do. There we go. That is my fifth. That is my ace tanker there. And um, the rest it's still even though it's, I'm on half health, I'm one shot for that Sheridan um, BMD1 can just wreck me with one shot as well and T54 I don't think I'm one shot for the no but that, that's out of the way the BMD on the other side has had a very good game so has the uh, Zalo on our team, King Homer, he's had a very good game as well yep, he's got his, he's got his ace tank as well so we played really well between me and Prazo in a platoon, we got six kills, that's pretty good. So we'll, let's see what we can do here. We've got Sheridan, at least Sheridan can one shot me. The Lav 150 is gonna try and go round, I'm going the other way. I'm trying to do a pincer move on him. Let's see what happens though. I think it's one of the best games I had, and also those guys who watch me on Twitch as well. This is very rare for me to get an ace tanker. So I was well chuffed when I got this, and it does make a change because uh, I play for fun, and I try, I try my best. I, I know I'm not anyone I'm just super unicorn or super special, awesome player because I'm not. I mean, look at our hit points. That lab is just going to get right now. That lab should finish him off now, which he does, and that was it. I got my ace tanker out of that, and I will show you my low date for this in a second. But I think I got, yeah, I'm pretty sure I got top rep. I uh, got my ace tanker and uh, spotting as well. But unfortunately, like I say, the uh, flying Dutchman, I was just putting some person fire down on that, and he came off worse, unfortunately. But that's how these things go, and you just got to deal with it because you can't win every game. I admit it because you can't. And it's just one of those things. But I'll just show you a loadout quickly what I've got on it. If it helps you, it helps you. If it doesn't, it's just one. It's just my preference. I just got to give credit to the Burley X. He told me about this uh, setup. So let's go to the Zalo. Uh, I've got Vision Range on there because it's pretty damn good. I've got Chrome Barrel Lining and that. I shouldn't really have that on there. I should have the uh, Drive Train. Um, Sorry about this. I won't be a second. I'm trying to get the details up. I can't. There we go. There you go. That's the details which I've got for this. Damage per minute. That's pretty damn high for this tier. Reload times five seconds. Bang on. The hit points is a bit meh, but he uses the sniper. That's how I've got it set up. Uh, camouflage is not that bad. Uh, view range that's the important thing 512 meters view range very important and um, thank you so much for watching 
if you do like what you're seeing, you do like the gameplay, it's very rare of me getting an ace tank, <laughs> so that's a quite a treat for you guys who are watching. And please press the subscribe button on YouTube, that'd be much appreciated. Thank you so much. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.